Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring. As you can probably tell, we have not had much progress since the last episode. As in, I am no closer to being able to beat this fucking Deathrite bird than I was uh, last time. Because this guy is really goddamn difficult. Anyways, you probably saw what was happening there. I totally realized that I got a bunch of like dope ass mixed physics uh, quite a while ago and I never did anything with them. So I mixed the one that gives you... oh fuck. I mixed the one that gives you no MP cost with the one that gives you no... fuck. Uh, with, with boosted magic damage is what I was trying to say. Sorry, it's a little bit difficult to... Uh, fucking... Uh, oh, I'm not dead. So yeah, that's like my setup. And... I thought it would help. Uh, probably doesn't. Other thing is... Somebody told me... In one of the previous episodes... God, that has a huge AoE. That... When you change your rune... Like when I change from Godricks to more gods, you do need to reapply your rune arc, which is a bit BS if you ask me. Uh, but yeah, so I did that, and this rune does actually give you quite a lot of uh, like HP, extra HP. But this boss is a fucking nightmare. This thing is. An absolutely awful, awful nightmare. Uh, it deals metric fuck tons of damage. Uh, like, like it's crazy. Like this is crazy. This boss is legit insane. It has AOEs. It does frostbite. Okay, you know what? I'm like just about done with this shit. And look at how much HP it still has. I I don't understand it. I don't understand what the point is of boosting some of these bosses up this much. Like, like this is not a fun challenge. Like, this is super boss level, like, gameplay. Uh, this is something I figured out, which I think I can exploit. Is that he's actually really weak to being stunned. I don't know what he's doing. See? I don't think I can get the critical. This is, by the way, the closest I've ever come to even killing him. And I have zero flasks. The other suggestion was that you need to stick. Yeah, and this is it. He, he wipes you with a single attack. That was like over three quarters of my life. And with the rune active. So yeah absolutely brilliant brilliant like you can probably tell why i enjoy fighting this boss uh so much so anyways what, what i was saying is this thing is weak to rock sling it stuns him in like three hits if you hit the head it's not easy hitting the head Luckily, Rock Sling does track fairly well. I'm gonna try like exploiting this because it's just this, it's it's insane. Yeah, I I think I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. Like like what even is the point? I know this guy gives like a hundred K souls, but what even is the point of frustrating yourself? Guy, I'm so frustrated with this game's boss design sometimes. Like. This guy is a good idea, like... There are good ideas in this guy. He looks cool. Uh, he has interesting movesets and everything, but... Just the execution, man. Like... Why does he deal this much damage? And why can't the fucking camera... Keep up? Like, like why am I struggling with the camera... And feel like I can't hit him half the time? Instead of actually having a legitimate fight against him. Oh man, this game. 
this game, this game, this game. And you know, without like, you know, I, I said I would do a second review of this game after I'm finished, which I, I still intend on doing, but I really feel like now that this game's been out, I think recently the news came out that this game's been out for six months. I can definitely tell the the rose-colored glasses have come off of a lot of people. Okay, I thought I would be able to get some damage in. And there was a thread about this game on Reddit and people were fairly brutal against it. And I think this is one of those... I don't know, and I don't think this is going to be the Souls game that ages the best. Fuck. I have to heal after every single time I get hit. Anyways, it's not like I'm salty today or anything. Well, I'm kind of salty today because uh, today marks the... What the hell? Where did you come from? Oh, did he, like, transform into another one? Or, like, body double himself? Jesus. Um, I'm kind of salty because today marks, I think, the... No, tomorrow marks the three-week anniversary of me ordering my mixer. And it's still not arriving. It's been quite a journey. I'll probably talk about it one of these days when I'm, like mentally prepared to talk about it but it's just been like not happening i'm struggling with the stupid ass company that i ordered it from and as you can see i'm recording this so the old mixer works but just barely so basically anytime i record one of these episodes i have to do like a ton of audio editing uh to like cut out noise and actually get the volume to an acceptable level and all this shit and again when I ordered that mixer it was supposed to arrive in three days and it's been three weeks so again you can probably understand why I'm feeling slightly salty it's the reason I can't stream currently again because the output of this mixer currently is so low uh, that you'd barely be able to hear me if I streamed. Again, I can get by with it with a ton of audio editing. But, you know, I can't just crank up the gain when I'm streaming because that's going to make things just sound awful and distorted and horrible. So, yeah, that's been happening with my life. Um, what? The, are you kidding? And, you know... Elden Ring is currently not helping with the slight saltiness that I'm experiencing because that bird hit me and... Ugh, fuck. I, I mean, this, this is absolutely insane. Like... Like... Am, am I just, like, not... I had this, you know, on my first playthrough as well, like... Am I just, like, not getting it? A random ass, like, nothing enemy... ...just two-shot me. It's one of those days, people. It's one of those days, that's for sure. Uh, using standard glimps, at least standard glintstone pebble tracks well. Oh, shit. And there you are. Oh, you're gonna get blasted. Eat shit. Come on. That went significantly better. Watch these wolves, like, two-shot me. I know who the boss is. This is that Commander Nile guy who... I think is also one of these... Okay, there's a painting. He's another one of these insane damage enemies. He's the same as the standard bearer, or very similar to the standard bearer in the Aeonia Swamp. I think this one also summons like little minions and shit. 
But this is fun because this is a dungeon I've not been to before. Oh, these guys. See, now these guys aren't two shotting me. And they are fairly weak too. Oh, that was like, I was like, what the hell am I getting hit by? Fairly weak to magic, it seems like. Hello. Teleports behind you, nothing personnel. See, he teleported behind me. Why did these guys drop? Mushrooms. It's what I needed. Is this a... Uh, what you call it? Laying down night? Sort of. Oh, these, no, these guys were similar to... What's in Godric's castle. Shit. And fuck, he teleports away, not towards you. I mean, the rune drops are pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Can't complain. I totally didn't know there were uh, frost resistant. Uh, like boluses or whatever these things are called. I mean, I feel like that would actually be fairly useful. Oh, come on, that totally... Don't tell me that didn't look like... Oh, seriously? I totally thought that window would be it. Hello. Oh, great sun, frigid sun of soul. Surrender yourself to the eclipse. Grant lives to the soulless bones. This is gonna be... Eclipse shuttle, what the hell? That looked like a key item, not a... Hmm. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, it could be a thingy. I swear, half the time I'm just blind. It could just be a weapon. Uh, oh, there it is a weapon. Storied sword and treasure of castle sword that depicts an eclipsed sun drain of color, blah, 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 blah. Prince of Death. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty good. It has that, like, death touch thing. If I remember correctly, that is good because it applies, like, stacked damage to enemies. Uh, and if it's the same thing as what Malekith's sword does, it also drains, I think, the maximum HP of enemies, making it very useful. That is a boss melter. Something's gonna ambush, yep. I don't think so, bitch. I saw one behind me, I saw it, don't worry. Was there one? There was. There's two of them behind me. What the? He just broke out and killed me. Great. Now these are the Godric castle enemies. I'm just looking at them, aren't they? Like the double sword guy, the shield guy that does the... Yeah. This is what I was expecting more like from this area. Instead of ghosts. Far. <laughs> I'm just gonna spam them to death. Now that I have a ton of souls is just still 
cool. It is summoning them, isn't it? Th this is unbelievable. Like... <laughs> He just one shots me. Just one shots me. I don't have a fucking like Baldekin's blessing, right? I think I used it up. I really hope I use it up. I think I did. Anyways, I'm done with this shit for sure. I'm not gonna even attempt to fight this thing. Looks like a shortcut. I'll gladly take it. Yeah, these guys can get fucked. Okay, maybe not you. I'm just trying to figure out if this is actually closer to the entrance. It should be. Oh no, maybe not. There's shit here though. It's just a nascent butterfly crafting item. Oh yeah, I've totally like realized just in one of the episodes that I have actually done zero crafting throughout this entire run. It could be closer. Yeah, you come to the left and then just run up there. Yeah, I've actually done zero crafting throughout this entire run. Uh, it's probably, from what I'm looking at, it's not really needed. I mean, people have been using craft... Oh, what? How did that go? How did that go up? Did I step on it like an idiot? I think I might have. Alright, well, we'll get to test our theory of whether this is a better shortcut from the entrance. Or whether it is actually a shortcut. It is, yeah. You can get here pretty easily. So if this does lead to the boss, which I'm having kind of a strong suspicion that it will, unless they put a convenience take of Marika there, it's gonna be our uh, main... Yep, yeah, oh, that's the boss room, okay. I totally didn't see the fog either. Cool. I think we're just gonna try and blast him. Commander Nile. Okay, so he summons one of these fuckers too. Apparently this is a bit of a... I used the wrong flask. From what I've heard through the grapevine, this is a bit of a Capra Demon situation with this guy. That, did I use the wrong flask? Okay, I totally just fucked up all my flasks. That is an insane... Does my guy have this? What's his name? Oleg? Because if he does... Why have, I, why have I not been using him? There is no... Okay, there is no statue of America or stake of America, so... One thing we're gonna do is switch this out to the boys. Actually, could I upgrade the boys? I don't even know what I have. What do we need? Seven. Nah, I don't. I just never collect these. I should. I know I should be collecting them. I just don't do it for some reason. Don't ask me why. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, let's even the playing field. Just a little bit. Oh, they just concentrate on me. Fuck. Stop it. Thank you. I don't think he summons them again. This is insane. This is so insane. The boys are handling themselves well, though. They can keep him at bay. It's just th this thing is so ridiculous. 
Do you see how fast that sword attack was? It was like instant two hit. Okay, so I need to probably kill the dual sword one first. This dude, yeah, this is the one that causes problems. Okay. So all they need to do now is keep him at bay for as long as they can. What I'm gonna do is drink this and just go to town. Listen, this is like playing an MMORPG. I'm running support here. Magic support, that's a thing. No, get out, get out from the frostbite. Okay, this one is gonna go ham, I think. Yeah. But look at how well the boys are doing, like... This is why I like this summon. It's just, they're just tanks. I mean, they're tanks for a while, but this guy's basically dead. Yep. Oh, and one boy survived. GG's. GG's to him. 90k. I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. God, that summon is so useful. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I think that's gonna carry me probably through, like, a lot of... So I should upgrade them to plus 10. Uh, I really should. I'm gonna do that off screen. I'll just go around and collect the rest of the upgrade materials because... Yeah. Not sure they're gonna do well against things like Malekith, but... You never know. You never know. Halic Tree Medallion. Lord Mikola, forgive me. The sun has not been swallowed. Our prayers were lacking. Your comrade remains soulless. I will never set my eyes upon it now, your divine Halic Tree. Huh. Interesting. This, is a, this does actually have some interesting lore here. The, like, Millennia and Mikla stuff. Sort of, they have their own motives and everything. Now, in terms of actually going to the Halic Tree, it's a little bit up in the air because uh, it's not even the Halic Tree. That's a cool area from what I've seen. But getting to the goddamn Halic Tree, uh, from what I've seen, is a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, that was too much. It's all good. I have a ton of runes again, so I need to, like, use them. Okay, how much... How much am I lacking? Comet is already 60. So five more levels. That's actually not a lot. That is not a lot. Now, we have the dragon here. The stupid ice dragon who I didn't defeat. But maybe with magic. He just has... This one has, like, insane defense, if I remember correctly. That's his thing. I mean, his entrance is cool, you gotta admit. I've seen Game of Thrones, don't worry. Oh! Oh! He's actually... Whoa, what the fuck? Am I stoned? That was all sorts of shit just happened there. So he's weak too. I'm gonna get hit by that. No, I'm... Yes, I am. There was a bit of hope. He still has so much HP. It works. The tactic works of just dragons being incredibly weak against Rock Sling. Oh, and you know what? Somebody said that if you have Meteorite Staff in your offhand, you still get the bonus for... 
people have been giving me a lot of good tips where basically someone said if you have it in your offhand you still get the bonus damage for the rocks or gravity sorceries which is pretty good I'm not gonna lie the other tip someone some saint told me is that if you hold up which I think this has been uh, around for a lot of the games I just never used it if you hold up you always go snap back to your first like whatever is first in your inventory I don't even know if I'm in range I'm not Hmm. I think I was getting the bonus damage. He's still extremely powerful. Alright, here we go. Make sure you're actually locked onto the head. 666. Six, six. How perfect is that? Very 80s heavy metal. So everything is plastered in 666. Because it's edgy. I don't know if the critical damage from my sword would do anything. I feel like doing just rock slings is way more helpful. Yeah. I mean, I can beat him like this. Unless he does something stupid. As in, by stupid, he one-shots me. Which... The chances of that happening are fairly, fairly high. Oh, Rock Sling, you're so good. This thing actually tracks like a ridiculous amount. Like, it's a straight up homing spell. Okay, Sketch, don't fuck up. Sketch, you fucked up. I, I fucked up there. Um, I'll take full responsibility for that. I, I had that. Okay, so what I thought I would do is spare you the agony of having to sit through this fight again. I died a couple of times to him. And even this attempt wasn't easy. Uh, but we got him. We got him. That actually wasn't bad. Uh, last time I fought him with melee, this thing seemed like absolutely impossible, which he does He does seem very difficult with, by melee, just because of the amount of damage he deals. So yeah, that's Borealis of the Freezing Frog. <laughs> frog. Borealis of the Freezing Frog. Um, fun boss. So what I'm going to do is we'll slide our way through the ice to the other side and there's something there besides uh, hopefully a side of grace although that would be appreciated at this point as well what actually is the side of grace here eh, whatever there it is I knew what I was looking for, right? Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and rest up here. Uh, and yeah, I guess we'll just pick it up from here in the next episode. Oh, you can talk to Melina here. I totally forgot. I totally don't. Did I miss this the first time around? Oh, no, no, I do remember this.
Letting me an epoch begin. An epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring. For the age of the Earth Tree. I don't actually think I remember this. How nice is that, right? I do like Melina. So as we level up our one single level, uh, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is wrap up this episode of Elden Ring right here. Next time we will be continuing through here, through the mountains. I'm busting my ass towards that 60. I so want to use Comet Azor. I so want to use it. And the carry and staff as well. So, what's gonna happen here is I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. And yeah, I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.